Today we're doing a session on the myths and misconceptions of endometriosis. Part of the problem with endometriosis is, despite of it being a very, very common condition affecting approximately 10% of women, there is still unclear reason why is this happening and its relation uh, uh, with the pelvic nerve uh, issues. So today with Dr. Shakiba, uh, we thought we'd go over some of the myths and offer our explanations. Some patients have the endometriosis burned off, while some patients have it excised or removed. Is there a difference? Again, when you talk about the, uh, the way endometriosis work is initial implantation, then the start of inflammation. So the problem is that inflammation. So now, if you have dealing with the inflamed wound, the best treatment would be to completely eradicate this area uh, from underlying tissue. So that excisement and excising that uh, would eliminate the continuation of inflammation. If you go and burn it, burning actually creates more inflammation. That by itself is another insult. Fulguration or um, burning is never a good answer. So that area needs to be excised. And in our practice, not only we excise the endometriosis, we, we adding a third level of care, which is addressing the underlying nerve. So those nerves need to be separated from the active implant, which is called neurolysis. Uh, in our opinion, I think that is also a third part and most advanced way of managing endometriosis. Okay. So burning. <laughs> burning. Also, there are these, these the small fiber of nerve, these, which are all functional and laying right under peritoneum and where the endometriosis sit. If you burn them, you're basically burning those nerves as well. So you're also making more functional, functional problem for the uh, pelvic area. Please uh, let us know if you have any question. You can always um, put on the comment and uh, or reach out uh, to our office uh, if you have any additional questions.